Hello, in internet. Hello, the interwebs. Who is going to look up the questions? Uh, I, I'll okay. call in. Oh, there's already someone here. We can't read your name, but hi! <laughs> It's too far away. It's too far away. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll, we'll, we'll dive in once we have some questions. But we, we, got, we received some questions uh, through the Instagram survey that we wanted to answer. And then uh, any questions that will be answered through the uh, Instagram live, we'll add those. If anyone even All has right. questions. I mean, we're not that interesting, <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> well. <laughs> If you join the feed, can you read what the people are? Well, actually, if, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, if Elena yeah. can watch the live stream yeah. and watch. <laughs> Wait, but say that Nick Lim is actually starting a live video. Yeah. <laughs> Surprise. But maybe yeah. we, let's let's uh, a do like a, a short introduction and then read the questions that we already have. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Interception. Um. Oh. So, uh, for those that don't know, but you've probably seen this guy before, <laughs> this is Melchior, um, my boyfriend. Um, Mirta? Hello. Atelier Nostalg. Atelier Nostalg, yeah. Okay. Yes. So, I always, I will, in my mind, I always say Atelier Nostalgie, but that's, oh, that's the fine. Nation, yeah. promotion. <laughs> um, and my lovely French girl, Olivia. Hi. Hi. Uh, AKA Uprising Girl. Yes, that's yes. me. Uh, and she's our special guest. Well, you're also a special <laughs> guest. Yeah. And we have Lucifer. Yes, yes. Right. yes. <laughs> And Stitch. Stitch. Oh, on the couch. Yeah. yeah. The team is up. Yeah. <laughs> um, does anyone want to add anything to your brilliant introduction? I'm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no? Okay. okay. Nothing more to say. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think the first question was from Noel. Uh, wait, costuming drama. Yes. Hi, girl. <laughs> Hi. Shout out Hi. to you, and I'll see you in a few weeks, actually, because she's also visiting. Yeah, Hi. Amsterdam. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, she asked? Yeah, um, she was asking us to dance if you just want to hang out and go. Yeah. Well, I think you are, well, the most bold <laughs> experienced one here. Well, it's not a prerogative, I think, to, to dance at a ball. I mean, the idea is just to have fun. So yeah. if you consider mm -hmm. that you won't have fun dancing, you can just hang out and uh, watch people dancing because it's actually quite fun sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> to watch other people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. in terms of um, socializing and uh, social studies, you know, <laughs> seeing, watching the, the people dancing is very interesting. <laughs> um, um, yeah, like making, sometimes uh, there are some dancers that like to improvise. Yeah, <laughs> and that can yeah. cause for very funny and are, like, <laughs> <laughs> and, then, yeah. and it's also, of course, uh, not everybody is at the same skill level. Yes. So some people might do some dances and mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. some others. But so, well, out of all, the idea is not to, to judge anyone. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're just here to have fun, so yeah. you, you can go and just with your level and uh, your skills and do, do whatever you want. The idea is just to have fun and, uh, one more time. So. Yeah. 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 And uh, I think a, a good organized ball will have dances that will be appropriate for, for yeah. everyone with every level yeah. to yeah. enjoy. And we are also mm -hmm. here to help each other, so maybe we, we never, well, almost not all the time, uh, uh, stick with uh, with the same people. Uh, we try to, to, to change and to, to mm -hmm. well, maybe if you see people who are actually willing to dance uh, on the circle and uh, they, they are not, uh, well, we, we go to, to see them and uh, uh, ask them for a dance. Mm -hmm. and, uh, well, that's the, the yeah. idea of a ball, actually. Yeah. It's I think a, there's a social gathering. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. And there's, it depends a bit on the ball. Some balls have more outside ac activities as well, mm. other than dancing. Yes. Some, some might have some food on their side, yes. or some, yeah. some card games. Yeah. Um, yeah. But that differs a bit per ball, how much like organized things there are. Yeah, it depends on the but, uh, organization. Yeah. And also uh, on the period that yeah. there were 
definitely some changes uh, uh, in terms of uh, ball history. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it it was more um, socializing uh, during like uh, the 19th century, for example, and afterwards, of course. But it's yeah. for me, in my opinion, it really started uh, during the, the 19th century. Before it was more um, uh, to show yourself, just, <laughs> just to show yourself. Yeah. yeah. Alone. So in short, a, a a historical ball is not just for dancing. No, there no, are definitely not. Mm -hmm. Lots of, and I think, um, well, I think you can also, well, not spe necessarily speak from experience, but you don't, you are not able to do like a lot of dances. So you actually, oh, yeah. you are most of the, I think, most of the most of the time. Uh, maybe like 60 40 percent a spectator spectator yeah like and a participator like uh, yeah 50 50 maybe yeah yeah and you were not bored no i'm not bored good because also um some people will skip a certain dance just because well you danced a lot and then you're tired you need to catch your breath you, yeah. you skip a dance yeah, so. yeah and the the during a ball where uh, uh in the balls i attended <laughs> uh, which were usually and mainly 19th century balls. Uh, the tendency is to uh, um, put some uh, animation stands oh, yeah. that yeah. The, the the organizer is calling off, mm -hmm. and uh, so, so everyone, everyone has, has a rest. Moment. Even if you don't dance, if, yeah. even if you don't want to, or <laughs> if you don't know how, it's uh, usually very easy steps. And uh, yeah. well, mm -hmm. people can join really easy. Yeah. And then you are uh, like free dances like waltz or polkas or mazurka, something like that. Mm -hmm. And all the choreographed uh, the dances. Yes. Yeah. Quite yeah. Really right. uh, Next question. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so in order, in order, uh, we have uh, Jana Kono Photography who is asking, well, if uh, she we could um, uh, show her some pictures of your petticoats and oh. your corsets. <laughs> so oh dear. Maybe <laughs> this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, if you go to the next question, yes. I'll go and get my corset and my petticoat. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, the next question oh. will be more for you because you're the specialist here. Um, <laughs> so Jenna is also asking how many yards of fabric were needed to make your 1830s gown. Oh, okay. Uh, well, let me answer that one first. Um, it really depends on the width of your fabric. Um, and I've actually made a little diagram. Um, that I actually have here. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, maybe you can, you can show it uh, yeah, to, the, the, to the, the folks back home. Um, so basically I use, I think, three and a half meters for the skirt, or three meters. I don't remember With how, how much we took uh, at the table. Uh, the <laughs> Look <laughs> it up. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Um, I think uh, for my yellow dress, which had two sets of sleeves, like long sleeves and short sleeves, and it was um, silk from India, so that meant it was one hundred and ten centimeters wide. I think I ordered eight meters of that, yes. and I still had a, a little bit of wiggle room. But with both um, sleeves and the bertha, um, I think eight meters was enough uh, yeah. for that. And otherwise, I think if you have a fabric that's one forty wide, you can actually have. You can have fabric that is um, uh, left over from the skirt, so you can use that for, for things yeah. and decorations. And then I think you can maybe even be finished with six meters. Yeah, I, I made my dress of six. Yeah. Um, so it has like the gathered in sleeves, but the pattern is just that you, you need one yeah. meter for the sleeves. Yeah. You need, <laughs> the, if, you, if you either have short or long sleeves, you need of almost a meter square meter for, for yeah. either. Yeah, so my lower sleeves are fitted, but I could fit like the dress and the bertha and sort of very full sleeves to here. Yeah. And the basics for a pelerine and for lower fitted yeah. lower sleeves out of that six meters. Mm -hmm. I did have to make like 
I don't have much left. Tetris. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I didn't have to piece anything. Yeah. And then also, it also depends on your fabric if you have uh, a print. Yeah. Uh, if you need to, like, uh, do a pattern match with your uh, uh, pattern pieces um, that can actually uh, also um, influence <laughs> the yardage yeah. you need. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I mean, it might have uh, a pattern, but like not visible enough that I needed to yeah. pay much attention to it. So yeah. for let's say for a dress that only has one set of sleeve and is one forty wide, you can have six meters. Yeah. Um, otherwise, uh, I think maybe seven. Uh, if you have yeah. one ten, if you have self trim, it becomes more. Yeah, yeah. and it also yeah. depends on the, how much decoration yeah. you yeah. you you put on. I mean, 1830s goes crazy mm. when it comes to <laughs> sleeves. Um, yeah. Same fabric. And you need space for piping. And piping. <laughs> so yeah. pi piping goes diagonal, so yeah. that eats a lot of fabric. So it, it really depends on the design. But if you want a plain dress, th those are kind yeah. of the yardage yeah. uh, I think yeah. you su su suggested uh, for the pink one that I took seven yards, uh, seven meters, sorry. Yeah. In order yeah. Uh, to have maybe. A bit more if I just yeah. spare it. Yeah. 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 And and you have like twenty centimeters left? Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. that's another story actually. <laughs> but yeah, and you made your, your sleeves like super wide. Yeah, so. that's a problem. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how because here's the that's uh, Yeah. <laughs> Both cameras. Yeah. I don't know if that shows up actually. Oh there we go. <laughs> So this is how I've I've spaced out kind of um, and I go by that. I don't know if the uh, camera picks this up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. That's for uh, the vlog camera. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and I actually made a little mistake because I forgot to double the pattern pieces of the bodice. Um, so that you ah, yeah. Add <laughs> yes. Add. Yes. Yeah. I remember you told me. Yeah. Add, add half a meter yeah. from that diagram. Actually, uh, what is shown on the pictures is that you have uh, for the full sleeves, for the, uh, the the short sleeves. Yeah, the short sleeves. You have two circles like this on the on the on the the fabric. Mm -hmm. The fabric, yes. And with mine, I uh, well, I, I was never able to to have the two. No, because two yours holes. are like yes. one and a half. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with the per patterning, but well, <laughs> it's way too big. Can, well, can it be too big? Sorry, yeah. can it be too big? Actually, in this case, yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> Sleeves were too big, but I couldn't raise my arms. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, but that's not the sleeves, that's the arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's, we're, we're sorting that out now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think it's almost the camera. All right. So let me go grab the corset. And yeah. Thank you. Okay. okay. First, yes. We're going to have a problem with the battery. Okay. You guys. So where's, yeah. the, where's the second battery? Uh, second battery is here. We are very good prepared. Yeah, we are yeah. very well prepared, as you can see. <laughs> so I don't find the next well, question. Yes, where are the questions here? Uh, well, it's the next question is also related to corset. Ah, we can uh, wait for Nikki to get that. Yes, yeah. yes. So we'll, we'll wait for that. So I think this one is going to be quite interesting. Yeah. Hi, you. <laughs> What's the question? <laughs> Uh, the question is uh, what time or uh, what type or period of costume would you guys never do? Oh, uh, Regency! In the bustle! Okay, people the are here. battery is back. Oh, there's and Mathilde too! Hi, guy! Oh, girl. Girl! <laughs> <laughs> okay, there are actually quite a lot of you here. Um, I'm not going to say everyone. Hi, Terry. Did we miss any questions? Or? Uh, yeah, but uh, we will get to those. Okay. All right. We're back rolling. Yes. Yeah. Okay. For the for the vlog people, the 
<laughs> yeah, the battery died. died. <laughs> so I had to uh, switch it. So if you want to see the extra footage you're missing now, you have to you have to go to Instagram. You have to go. Yeah. To Instagram. <laughs> all right. So my corset that I use for actually all of my 19s, oh hi, 19th century, um, including 1830s, is not historically accurate because this is an 1876. I'm saying that, yeah, 1876 corset that I use for all of my 19th century uh, costuming. So this is not an actual 1830s pair of stays, but it actually, from the waist up, which is the only yeah. important part, it has gussets, so it does kind of the same. And as you maybe can tell, it is quite dirty and disgusting <laughs> and <laughs> very ragged, and um, that's why I'm actually right now making a new one. So, and it's also a little bit too small. Yes. Oh, maybe um, it's a, like the, the the vodka trick. Yeah. So uh, for th like this is a little trick I learned from work. Um, if there are items that can be washed, but uh, you know in which you sweat. Um, you can take either pure vodka or vodka that diluted with water. Like 50%? And then 50% or at any rate. But um, And then the moment you take your costume off, and while well, it's actually still like warm or damp from your body, spray it in with vodka, even silk items, um, and it will actually kill the bacteria. And why vodka? Because vodka does not leave stains or, uh, well, it doesn't leave stains. <laughs> yeah, and, and it'll kill the bacteria, yeah, so the it bacteria. won't smell. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and uh, just don't buy any like fancy vodka, just the <laughs> most cheapest one there is. That will do I felt very conspicuous going into a liquor store looking for their, mo their, their <laughs> cheapest vodka. <laughs> yeah. you, even, you went to a liquor store? Just go to the supermarket. Yeah, but I think the, the liquor store was next to the supermarket. Oh, so. okay. <laughs> Um, and then my petticoat, I'm assuming you meant my corded petticoat, which is... Oh, the <laughs> This uh, is this one. It's not freshly starched. No, it's not freshly starched. As you can see, it's pretty flat. It needs to be re-starched. Um, so yeah, and then I have a little bump head here. It goes on my bump. It's fine. Yeah. I want give to it see a <laughs> little bit of oomph. So that's my petticoat. <laughs> And that was my TED talk. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, just to, to go back on uh, um, not historically accurate, accurate, mm -hmm. accurate uh, corsets. Uh, well, maybe I'm wrong, but corset, I'm, for me, it's not very something comfortable. Mm. So, uh, in terms of dancing, for example, the idea is uh, uh, always to have something you are comfortable in to dance. Uh, so f the same for, for me, actually, I'm using um, 1970 corsets for every costume I make. I mean, uh, it's not very, as you, as you said, mm -hmm. uh, uh, historically accurate, but that's no, but the, the, the one I'm, I'm the most comfortable in. Yeah, yeah but for, uh, like for the, the middle part of Victorian, it's, it, it, it hasn't drastically changed. No, mm. no. But once you get you know, to the, if you want the to do natural era, yeah, or the, the, uh, well, Edwardian is a bit yeah, different. Yeah, the Edwardian. That, yeah, and uh, yeah. As, as long as it, it will give you the right, the right shape, shape yeah, so then it doesn't really yeah. matter because you don't don't see it anyway. Yeah, it depends um, a bit on your figure as well. Like the bust yeah. position shifts a bit, but like yeah, yeah my but bust position is not going to change that much anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Right. So I'm using the same for every costume I have, since yeah. it's a uh, uh, all the costume I have. I think it's a uh, 19th century anyway. Uh, I don't have the, the problem for dance. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, actually, for the men's, <laughs> <laughs> for men, the men's, the men uh, also wore corsets in specific periods. Yes, I tried. And I hated it. <laughs> no, I, I can't stand uh, having a corset, so... Guys, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, okay. A corset, corset, this is not for me, so... Yeah. <laughs> no, 
but um, I don't know how it's for you, but for me, the feeling when your organs are getting squished, <laughs> like, no, that's like for... It's because you're not used to it. Yeah. No, yeah. but just, uh, you know, um, when I'm, for example, laying in bed, I don't even like having my hand on my stomach because of the pressure. Oh, okay. So yeah. okay, so it goes further than yeah. Yeah, so sensitive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So a corset is even more extreme than that. Yeah. So yeah. no, mm. Mm. not not for me. It shouldn't be uncomfortable, but it, it's always tight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, and if you don't like I, it being tight, then <laughs> I don't mind the, the yeah tightness. I don't mind tightness, but the. The pressure of your, your organs getting squished, that's yeah. the feeling I can't stand. Yeah, but um, I don't really see how uh, yours uh, were... Uh, well, how out so well was it? Um, well, it was like it was mostly just... Oh, it's the just the 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 like a yeah. big belt. I, tr yeah. I try like an underbust. Okay. Uh, thingy. Just, you know, to, to let them feel mm -hmm. kind of and it. It wasn't even like laced properly it, was, no. it wasn't even like <laughs> no <I'll be> <laughs> so and he was already like almost screaming take it off yeah. okay yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. no. don't no, say he hasn't tried <laughs> not not for me no. so all right okay do we what's the the next question mm. well just to finish on about oh, our set uh, i said it wasn't comfortable indeed it's not but uh somehow it can help uh, uh, with uh, dancing, camera. actually. I'll look. Uh, I'll check yeah. the camera. Because it gives the you block. like a well for posture. Again, yeah, I like for yeah. Okay, it's seven else. minutes. Yeah. Uh, so where were we? Uh, yeah, the next question was uh, still from uh, Jenna Corner, and she <laughs> was asking for some info about uh, your. Corset Basque, uh, how do they work and how to build one or where to buy? Uh, so mine is a spoon Basque. Um, I don't know if you're interested in it because it's not eaten curries. Uh, <laughs> 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 but it's a spoon Basque and um, because I, I'm an hourglass shape, so I have a little bit of a, a belly, low belly. And uh, I bought mine from uh, Fena Cava Design in England. Yeah, it's you, British. Yeah, in the UK. Yeah. Okay. And I think you'll, you'll ch ask something? Yeah, uh, I have, there is uh, a question here from uh, Kit Kat Stitch. Mm -hmm. Hi. <laughs> Who is asking, uh, did you draft your own patterns or scale them from the book? Is that specifically for me or for everyone? Well, I, I don't know. Well, maybe maybe in your I, <laughs> I use a mix of whatever I have or whatever I want and whichever comes and then closest. Yeah. 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 And then yeah. Frankenstein yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I do. <laughs> so I, I, for Victorian, I use Julian Victorian patterns a lot for the bases, mm -hmm. for the base layer. So for the bodice, um, because it's just so much easier than trying to scale it up and mm -hmm. having five mock-ups, because then I just need one, typically. Mm -hmm. And for the sort of the base skirts, but yeah. then for draping and for I mean I just literally use the basic lining mm -hmm. pattern, yeah. which is in the patterns, and then all the other stuff. I don't usually read instructions. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I, um, for most of the nineteenth century, um, I have used uh, I used mainly books. I don't use like uh, com commercial patterns. Yeah. Um, but uh, books and then I scale them up to my size and then uh, well actually I have a really good pattern that's fitted to m to me and then so that's actually based like my basic pattern and then for whatever uh, model I need I alter that I copy it and then I alter it and draft add on take off in places uh, hmm. what the model requires. Um, but I am um, taught to draw my own patterns, um, so I can do that. Um, but uh, yeah, for historical use, I mainly use the like the, the Jane Hunnicutt books mainly. I think maybe also because they're theater based and not like 
historically yeah. accurate, but they are historic historical looking, but made to the way I am actually used to and taught to by work. So mm -hmm. th that's why I'm really comfortable with those books. Mm -hmm. And you? Um, <laughs> I started actually with commercial patterns mm -hmm. uh, because I was I, I I had absolutely no knowledge at all about sewing whatsoever. So historical. <laughs> And uh, afterwards, I I saw the limits of uh, those uh, commercial patterns, mm -hmm. so I started drafting them, uh, drawing them from books. Uh, well, you you join points, and uh, well, that was fun for a time, but <laughs> I saw the limits too because uh, you can do exactly what you want. You have a basic uh, basis, but. Um, uh, not for everything and afterwards uh, well this year actually I started um, uh, understanding how uh, this the, the scaling mm -hmm. is working and uh, actually it's, it's like uh, an epiphany for me <laughs> like, uh, I don't know how why I didn't use them uh, earlier like the uh, Janet almost for example mm -hmm. that I, I have for, uh, I had it for, for years and never used it, so I started this year with uh, a bustle dress mm -hmm. and uh, I was like uh, very surprised by how uh, it actually uh, fitted me. I, I thought it would be um, very difficult to, mm -hmm. to scale after uh, with mock-ups, etc. Mm -hmm. And um, I actually saw a, a video on, you, on YouTube uh, explaining how to use the scale because mm -hmm. with the book I didn't understand anything. And the, I think with the, the Janet Arnold books is that they are actually drafted from an ex, uh, existing garment. So the pattern that's in that book matches the, the size of the, the existing the original, garment. Yeah. Yeah. Um, while, like, for example, the, the Jane Hunnisett patterns are actually all made to the same size. Yeah. Yeah. What, mm -hmm. Which book is it? The, the red one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Jane Hunnisett, the, the mm -hmm. costumes. Uh, per costume for station design. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the one that uh, somebody told yeah. me yeah. over there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, yeah. I don't that have, have those, but yeah. I've heard of them. And Melchior, how do you draft your patterns? Uh, <laughs> well, actually, the stuff that I make myself. Well, for those that don't know, he actually makes costumes too. Um, either I make them with a 3D CAD program. Okay. And then have, okay. And then have He's the engineer. <laughs> We are way out of here. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and then I have my patterns laser cut. Yes. Okay. So who's superior? <laughs> uh, so who's the superior uh, here? <laughs> well, you are. No, uh, yeah. Well, this, that's just something. Because you actually good. have a three D body scan oh, made. The camera. All right. I'll press <laughs> <it>. <laughs> oh, we are yeah. talking too long, guys. Yeah. And so for. Oh, you can do a little well, bit of that. Ah, that's okay. Uh, oh wait, uh, I'll put the time yeah. first for the camera. Okay. okay. Um, it's the stuff I make is more like science fiction stuff. And for example, I made a sort of a robot suit. And before that, or to do that, it, uh, I made a 3D scan of myself at a company who made. Oh. Who, who made these, uh, their thing is like, oh, the, you get yourself scanned and then they print a little statue of yourself. <laughs> and I was like, I don't need the statue, I, I just, just want the 3D data. And they were like, oh, okay. Have you never thought of the fact that I might want to do a statue of you? <laughs> but it would be just like, oh, I'm standing like this. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Alright, cool. Next question. Alright. There were a few from the Instagram stories, I think. Because I know you uh, yeah, yeah. last one. You, no, you, you, you last one before. Oh, no, we already answered. No, we didn't answer. You always hear. Yeah, it's actually she's like yeah. the next. Uh, what time? Uh, yeah. <laughs> we were wondering period, what period? type period or of costume would you guys never do? Never do. Never do. Yeah, I I already said like <laughs> regency. Regency. Because well, I just yeah sorry. Well. You don't like the fashion style, right? I don't like... So for me, that's why I love the 1830s so much, because it it suits my figure. 
I'm a natural hourglass. I'm white here, I'm white here, small here, and white in the hips. So, 1830s yeah. exaggerates that ex only more. Yeah. Regency, the the focus is mainly on here, and then from down there it's just blah. In my opinion, <laughs> sorry if I offend anyone. <laughs> um, and that just um, it makes me look. There's no waist. There's it's straight, and mm -hmm. it just I no. <laughs> <laughs> And then, besides the, the not liking the fashion of that, is that um, so here in the Netherlands, they there are like historical groups and historical dances and historical balls, but it's mainly Regency. So um, <laughs> it's kind of as a historical costumer um, here in this country, it's kind of shoved in your face. Well, Which actually make, makes it for me to dislike it more. And I'm sorry if I, <laughs> <laughs> if I uh, uh, insult anyone or offend anyone, but that's just my feelings. Yeah. And yeah. I, I, I feel more at home in the 19th century af after the 1820s. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's a lot more Regency groups and costuming and balls yeah. than any other period. Yeah, Although it is expanding. It's, it's, it's expanding. Yeah, and but it's also an easy access. It's like yeah. people yeah. that begin. My, my first costume was Regency. Yeah. yeah. And it's probably also because of the. Well, the books are. Uh, still yeah, yeah, and Jane Austen. Austen. Yeah, Jane yeah, Austen is still of popular. So yeah. And everyone sees the Jane Austen movie, so they're like, oh, yeah. I, I want to do that. I want to do yes. that. <laughs> so, yeah. And it's an, it's an easy. Uh, period to to start in, uh, yeah. Yeah. Because that, that's why I started there yeah. because then I could sort of get away with skipping underwear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Here um, you, girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's yeah. that's my opinion, and that for you it's the same, right? For, no, you, <laughs> you, <laughs> you. Well, <laughs> well, not for the dresses, but <laughs> well, uh, the dresses. Well, I don't really like this style of dresses because. They always make me think of those nightgowns, the, cause <laughs> like uh, the, the girl from Peter Pan. Oh, oh yeah, Wendy. Wendy. <laughs> yeah, Wendy has a basically. It's a, she's wearing a nightgown, but it's like Regency. So, it's like Regency yeah. style, but it's actually set in the Belle Époque era. Yeah. Yeah. So that uh, connection for me is always like mm, <laughs> people in nightgowns. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, and but the the men fashion, well, well, I like the uniforms, but the regular fashion of men don't really speak to me. That much. I think it was at its craziest <laughs> during the yeah. 30s. So, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, shape wise at least. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And for you, Nita? I don't think. Well, it says never do, and the period I like least is 1920s, but I do actually have a 1920s dress. So, so that's you've already done it, so it doesn't yeah. count. <laughs> I mean, I had a party, and <laughs> it's, it was quick, but I think my reason for not liking the 20s is sort of similar, mm -hmm. in that it doesn't look flattering on yeah. me at all, mm -hmm. because you need to basically cut a dress all the width of the widest part of your body, and I'm very, but very like that. So. What normally looks big at the top on a 1920 dress, the way it's supposed to, looks huge when I do it. <laughs> it yeah, I just there's no figure left yeah. if I wear. And uh, the one I have sort of has gathers at the top, and then it sort of drapes, and then I slightly avoid the effect. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so it's not that I'd never do it, but I would say that's my least okay. favorite. Um. For me, it's quite difficult because uh, actually the, the thing that I uh, uh, liked liked <laughs> here in past tense here <laughs> uh, the least uh, were uh, dresses with huge sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I would say uh, I hated eighteen um, nineties. Uh, yeah, the better book. Yeah, because of the mainly because of the day outfits and afterwards because of the ball ones. Mm -hmm. I found them very ridiculous. First, because uh, contrary to the um, 1830s, uh, the, the skirts are very flat at the hips mm. and you have uh, more volume uh, for uh, 1830s. So it's 
it's quite it heavens yeah. the, the thing. Yeah, the yeah. silhouette. Yeah. And also uh, the decorations uh, on the top of the the, the, the ball bodices mm -hmm. or even the the day outfits. Uh, I found it. Uh, found them very, you know, unflattering, very fluffy. You have too much here, mm -hmm. so it's <laughs> and coming from me, it's very difficult because uh, I actually <laughs> like a lot of stuff on the body, so the more the merrier. <laughs> uh, but afterwards, um, I discovered that uh, this time timeline uh, was not actually only focused on big sleeves, so you could sh you, you can actually. A switch for something uh, maybe tighter. Uh, mm -hmm. So well, I I can't say that I don't like the the period. Uh, and for 1930s, actually, I didn't like the period because uh, 19 I or 18. 18, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 1830, sorry. Uh, I found it uh, ridiculous. As yeah. as and most of the world. I mean, I, I started that way out as well, but it's yeah. sort of fun. But it's yes, also for the 1830s. The ridiculousness yes. is fun in itself. And actually, uh, I don't like uh, most of the um, uh, fashion plates of the time of the period. Because, no, no, oh because God. it's very very difficult for me to get inspired by um, uh, original fashion plates. Oh really? I find more uh, in inspiration by looking at actual costumes made now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. to recreate mm -hmm. because um, it's simpler sometimes mm -hmm. because. I mean, I'm I'm lazy. <laughs> so, so we most of the people don't go um, um, uh, well uh, at the end of the uh, ridi ridiculousness. Yeah. If you see what I mean. Yeah. Mm. We, people we didn't, but people didn't push through. Yeah. To, yeah. to add, yeah, and that's the, that's what I've um, um, I also noticed that um, to actually complete. Do the 1830s right and actually get over the the ugliness of it. It's <laughs> actually go over the top. Yeah. <laughs> and people are hesitant to go over the top because it's such a um, yeah. crazy era. So they actually like subdue it a little bit, yeah. and then yeah. you don't reach full you, potential. No, the full yeah. And then, mm -hmm. then, then that just looks a bit go, sad. Yeah. And then people <laughs> go like, yeah, it's so blah. Yeah. But um, if, actually, if you go, you know, uh, you have to out. embrace. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. go full out, and yeah. then when you look in the mirror with that crazy hair and all the stuff that's that you can put in <laughs> yeah, that hair, exactly, and the silly curls, and then just look at the sleeves, and I guarantee you, it will bring a smile on your face. Yes, <laughs> but the thing is uh, that um, for this timeline fashion. Um, it's an, it's a, the old look is a whole on itself. Yeah, you you, you can't wear uh, this kind of dress without the the no, all the no. accessories. Yeah. Yes, then it yeah. doesn't look right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, needs, it needs its accessories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 it needs old stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, uh, but well, as you said, um, it's when you go full out and uh, embrace the ridiculousness. Uh, then you have fun, and uh, I, I discovered that I actually love this period, and now I just can think about anything else. So, <laughs> so well, thank you, Nikki. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's it okay. for this question. Yeah. Okay. okay, and the and last I, one. Oh, there's more. Uh, yeah, just one. Uh, it's from Betty Jane Costumes, uh, who is really interested in historical costuming events in France. Oh, can you recommend any? Um, well, you are yeah, an expert <laughs> here. Are. So there's uh, actually um, a lot of costuming uh, events in France, but they are not really well known, uh, usually because uh, it's um, mostly organized by uh, um, official castles like uh, Fontainebleau, if you know it, Bretagne. or Bretagne, or uh, uh, there is some in uh, Rochefort or something like this. Mm -hmm. Uh, and they don't really do some uh, communications about it. They don't the promote it. social media. Yeah, yeah, it's not. They're not promoting yeah, it. Yeah, not not really. I don't know why actually. I I can't explain well, why. Maybe maybe there is a simple explanation, but right well, now I can't explain maybe why. Maybe like uh, like with Castle de Sel, there is now a sort of group 
like the hardcore, the, the, yeah. The, the, well, the, yeah, yeah, the core uh, core group, and people often know and because like, it's it's an annual event. Yeah. people know it's going uh, to yeah. be yeah, like oh, the date is always around yeah. this period, so we know then then it's uh, that we can go to that ball, mm. and well, only on their Facebook it's like oh. Well, we yeah. have ball then. Yeah, but and they, they did promote it on their on that. Yeah. Yeah, but they also didn't really need to because they sell sell out yeah. every day. Yeah, they yeah. sell yeah. out in a yeah. day. So. Yeah, yeah, it's and, awesome. and yeah. Actually, this time this year is the first time they're actually holding two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because uh, it, it, and they they don't don't think any of us are going <laughs> this year. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so the reason they're the reason that they I think this is also the first time they're organizing yeah. two balls is because it's Regency. Yeah. Yep. Um, like I said before, Regency is super popular here mm -hmm. in Belgium yeah. and in the Netherlands. So uh, because of the people. ball already sold out when it's not Regency, they <laughs> they, yeah. they added a second date to so all everyone that wants to come mm -hmm. has yeah. an opportunity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think also um, when you have your first ball, then you will you'll meet people there, and then they'll you'll see that they go to different events and yeah. you'll get in, you can have it's yourself it's introduced there. Yeah. Uh, basically. Yeah. 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 You just need, you just sort of kind of need get your foot in the door yeah. um, to, has to, to find a source where you can find this kind of... Uh, mm -hmm. And um, then uh, once you... Um, once, once you... Once you yeah. Do you know that people yeah. know yeah. go to every yeah. and, and trust me, once you're in it, yeah. <laughs> there is an event every weekend. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, and then you essentially as long as you're willing to travel. Yeah, yeah. Yes. hours. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, you can go across whole Europe. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Exactly. But for and, uh, France mainly, I think French is. Next to England, France is the biggest country in Western the, Europe. The difference is, uh, is sorry, well, Eastern, I, no, I don't, Europe. I don't know uh, yet. I hope to <laughs> uh, know uh, every specialty for every country okay, exactly. Wow. But mm -hmm. I know that we organize. Uh, I think mostly um, Second Empire uh, events yes. yeah. in terms of costuming. Well, I'm I'm into dance events, so well we yeah. There's a lot of groups um, existing in France who are again organizing uh, little balls or big balls uh, everywhere in France, uh, but specialized into um, uh, 1860s. Yeah. Era. Second of yeah, yeah. Because people are really into cream cream line dresses. Uh, I don't know why exactly it's special in France, but maybe it's because uh, it was very, uh, um, it's a, um, uh, and before that it was less, less interesting. So you have kind of a gap in terms of uh, events in France uh, between uh, Regency, <laughs> that yeah. we call yeah. in France First Empire, and uh, the Second Empire, who is which is starting, um, uh, uh, um, like, uh, 1850s, I said, yeah. just to, 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 to summarize. But I think that's the same, like the gap is there <laughs> between Regency and Crinoline. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're trying to fill the gap. But I, think, I think it's uh, sort of working. Yeah, no, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's been set in motion. Um, as you, if you are in the, on the costuming community, especially if you are on the Instagram costume community, you've noticed that, that there is like an 1830s boom going on. And I'm super, super happy about that um, yeah. because that means uh, the more people get interested in it, the more events, events. will be organized. Yeah. Yeah. So that gap is going to be filled. Yeah, yeah. but it's regarding um, historical people like us I yeah. mean, who are into costuming or dancing, um, going into a period that we don't know is easier. Yeah. And for uh, average people yeah. who, are, uh, who are looking uh, at something... That are starting out, yeah. I mean. Yeah. And I think um, that if they are not, uh, well, educated enough, I mean, uh, seeing someone with big sleeves and a giraffe <laughs> on the head, like, <laughs> what are they coming from? It's yeah. like they're crazy or yeah. something. Yeah. So it's, it's uh, more it's difficult to yeah. interest public. Yeah, you it, need, it needs a bit more time to sink in yes. before you, you see, yeah. <laughs> I think. I think most people who start out hate the 1830s and then once they've gotten started, they yeah. sort of love it. Yeah. <laughs> but 
plus yes, I, 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 I'm, I, I can't... Uh... Well, I had the same thing. That in, the, in the beginning, I just couldn't quite get over the ridiculousness of it. <laughs> yeah. And at some point, you learn to embrace that. Yes. <laughs> I think that's the... Yes. And uh, regarding uh, dance events, because sometimes it's linked, well, you, you, you don't easily find uh, 1830s dance events. Because uh, in terms of uh, yeah, dance there's also a gap. Yeah, it's quite difficult. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, very difficult because it, it's it's quite similar to um, the the Regency uh, repertoire. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you still have um, jumping steps uh, in the quadrille, and uh, well, the, the waltz is trying to appear yeah. <laughs> very slightly, so like what, very trying. What I've noticed is that there. Um, they're doing like a waltz quadrille like doing like figures like you would do like in a quadrille but then do it in a waltz kind of Music. you know what i mean yeah but waltz in quadrille doesn't didn't appear uh, until i don't remember no i don't mean mm -hmm. like the waltz as we know it f for the the middle and later victorian era but yeah. like um um just Remember the the video of uh, uh, Mike and uh, uh, and you? Yeah, uh, that was. Yeah, uh, I don't remember if it was really Regency or. Uh, you were wearing 1830s. Yeah, we, were, we <laughs> actually chose to 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 wear those costumes, but uh, this is the kind of yeah uh, uh, dances that you could find during this uh, yeah. this period, and it's it quite difficult. It was kind for of a transition period yeah. to go yeah. from all those figure figure dances to the actually partner dances. Yeah. Yes, yeah. It w there was... There are some, actually. Yeah, but, but it was, was like more in the middle uh, of the well, tournament. Uh, the Carnival was um, um, mostly composed uh, of um, uh, English countryside um, line dance. Mm -hmm. uh, quadrilles also. Uh, Gallop. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't remember what it is, but <laughs> well, that was the well. Some I think the the, the waltz were, was trying to appear, but not the the way that we know it yeah. Yeah. now mm -hmm. yeah. at all. Mm -hmm. right. And uh, it's also um, for the public, if they want to join in, it's easier uh, afterwards because uh, jumping steps were uh, letting go off, so abandoned by uh, by, mm -hmm. by people. Uh, because it's some, somehow too too hard, and you had to take uh, dance lessons to to to, yeah. to master them. Um, and well, for 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 today, it's the same problem because <laughs> most of the people uh, who are uh, joining into dance groups actually here are, are not. Uh, I mean, they uh, most of them are not ballet dancers, and yeah. somehow <laughs> they they are they are a bit afraid of uh, the jumping steps mm -hmm. and the the. Difficulty that seems to be the dance. Yes. So, right. um, I think we've uh, we've been going on. For <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, I think maybe like ten more minutes. Uh, answer some questions from the, the uh, live stream. Uh, well, I don't know. Nope. I don't have any more. No. I don't know if you can see everything. I I'm not sure actually. So. Oh, maybe let's see if we can hear, because this is the, uh... Oh, Mathilde is saying, 1840s is the new frontier! Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see that! Yeah. Uh, well, maybe there's a like... To be fair, not, not a lot of people are doing 1840s. No. So, no. Yeah, because they, uh, 1840s and 1850s kind of blend. Yeah, not really. No? No. no. It's just it's not people really my era. No. <laughs> In my, in like, in my unknowledgeness, uh, 40s and 50s kind of blend for me ish. It's a transition. Not really. Yeah, it's really the transition. But because the beginning you, of the 40s yeah. is very different from the end of the 50s. Well, that's because you're coming from the 1830s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, for the vlog people. Bart, yeah, we're, we're having an Instagram <laughs> story here. Sorry. Bart is saying something that I have no idea what he's talking about, <laughs> um, which is basically always Bart. <laughs> no, sorry. We love you! Uh, Mrs. P. Velvet, but there are a lot of Regency events in Germany too, but very less real Victorian events. Well, that's kind of the same problem we are having here. Yeah, yeah. same in the um, Netherlands. Yeah, awesome. so Mill Europe, yeah. yeah. Hey, Noelle! Noelle's here! Hey. 
Um, Lots of Regency and maybe late Victorian, but everything in between. I think uh, Belgium has quite a lot of Edwardian stuff, yeah. and in the Netherlands it's mostly Regency. Yeah. But also, history, a, a, lot of, a lot of Regency stuff. Yeah. A lot of stuff comes from reenactment. Mm. Uh, yeah. I think actually, that's where yes. it came from. Yeah, also. actually, we have a lot of Regency uh, events, but not dancing ones. Yeah. Mm. Uh, mostly mm. because of castles. Did you do what? Uh, yep. <laughs> Some uh, history with with uh, with Napoleon the third, the yeah. first. Yeah. Celine is saying, "Bisous, bonne soirée à tous." Okay, she's saying uh, kisses and. Uh, Love and kisses. Yes. Okay. Bisous. <laughs> bisous. Is that the correct? <laughs> bisous. Bisous. Bisou. Yeah. Excusez-moi. Bisous. Oh. <laughs> um, Beauty in a bustle. I went to a PA Victorian ball in Bath for the first time, and it was great. Good! Yes. Keep yes. going! <laughs> Keep going! It was one of my first balls as well. I, went to, I, I was there a couple of years ago. It's, uh, in Bath? In yeah, Bath. it's yeah. Isabella's. Oh, uh, Isabella's ball, yeah. 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 It's it was a, a Victorian one. Yes. Oh, yeah. You yeah. went to it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I was considering a, a couple of years ago. It's, yeah. it's a really nice event yeah. and with like everyone just looks yeah. amazing. We've, yeah. got, we've got all the questions. All right. right. All right. Well, I think that is long enough. <laughs> 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 Man, I think it's almost an hour, I think, because oh, wow. yeah, we started the yeah. camera like three. Oh, something. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So that is also a sign the battery is oh. almost dying. Oop. Pause. <laughs> All right. Okay. So this will do that from us. Yeah. Uh, if you want to see more of this weekend gathering. <laughs> go to YouTube. Uh, <laughs> and for those that are watching already the vlog, welcome to. <laughs> <laughs> if you. Um, yeah, if you like what we're doing, don't forget to like and subscribe uh, to our YouTube channel. I'm sorry, I'm in a prank now. <laughs> <laughs> to our YouTube channel and um, well, thanks uh, for yeah. watching. Yeah. yeah, I think, yeah. and you'll, uh, I guess you'll put all the necessary info in the video. Oh, it yeah, will be in the description bar below. Um, and we hope to see you at one of our future events. Yeah. Yes. Who knows? <laughs> Bye! Bye. <laughs>